my generation's Supremes for Black girls who spoke to me on so many levels to have that representation as a 15-year-old to see. And so I have, I think I have a different relationship with Beyonce because we're a year and a half apart, specifically. Um, <laughs> And it's not that I don't see her without critique, because I do. I see so many things that bother me about, you know, like the drunken love lyric. Why does she let her husband say that about anime? You know, all of this stuff. I, I wish that that was not in there. But also having Partition come out um, in December, like a couple months before my book came out, when I'm writing about sex work and sexual abuse and issues with my body and my sexuality, it was freeing to have Beyonce and showing her ass and owning her body and claiming that space, that meant a lot to me because it gave me the okay as someone who I looked up to since I was 15 to have that. And I'm not saying that she is not participating in all of this, but I do think that there is power in her leaving her father. And I don't think that she's going straight into Jay-Z's hands, but that documentary was about leaving her father and saying, I would not let you give this distilled image of me anymore. And I, that resonates with me on so many levels too. And so we can continue to critique, but that was my thoughts on that. <laughs> my concern though, is that whole idea, again, when we think about containment, that we say, oh, but this person who is doing um, major harm, let's say, because I, I see a part of Beyonce that is in fact anti-feminist, um, that is assaulting, that is a terrorist um, in the sense of, um, especially in terms of the impact on young girls. Um, the, I mean, I actually feel like the major assault on feminism in our society has come from visual media and from television and videos. I mean, just think, where would, do we, do we even know of late any powerful man of any color who's come out with some tirade against feminism? The tirades against feminism occur so much in the image-making business, in what we see. I mean, think about um, Snow White and the Huntsman, if you saw that. The, the image of Charlize um, his character as the, the wicked stepmother. But the interesting thing that we see in that film that I didn't see any reviewer talking about is that character talks about her mother releasing her as a child into the hands of adult predators. Um, and, and her amazing line in that film where she's looking a little like a hot Gloria Steinem is she says, Men ruin women. And it's this whole sort of anguish of having to be in this world as the sex symbol, as the sexual, whatever. So I guess what I, I'm concerned about constantly in my critical imagination is why is it that we don't have liberatory images that are away from, um, not an inversion of what, society has told us, but that our, our own sense of what am I, what am I looking like when I am free? 